Alrighty guys, we are back at the farm. To the road. Kind of the driveway here. Anyway, we're gonna take her over there to the drop to the unload point. That's where we seem to unload equipment. I don't like doing it at the main yard because there's not a lot of maneuvering room for the trailers. So we're gonna do it over here. looks like that trailer. Oh yeah, it's the same one. Big text. So, alrighty folks. So, to start the tour of this place off, We're gonna unload. We'll start this old girl up. Slow reverse. Not bad. Man. All right. So this is our grain facility here. It ain't much, but it's on a sport. It gets the job done for me. Load five sixty here. This might be the last video for the night, guys, as I got a few other things to do yet. So, start off here with our corn crib. Not very big, as I'm not gonna hopefully be doing a lot of ear corn, and if I do. You can see this pad from where there was a previous building. So, place it there. Over here, we got our silos for our corn, our beans, and then there's the wheat silo or the oats. Like I said, I don't plan on doing a lot of oats, and if we do, it's probably going to get directly sold. So, yeah. And this is the path up to the barn. I've got to do a little bit of work there. Lovely. That's going to be annoying with the truck and a trailer. We'll figure it out. Same as that. Alright. Um, anyway, here we have the dairy barn. Um, no cows yet. I want to get some feed stored up before I purchase any cows. That way I can start feeding them right away and I don't have to worry about them starving. As you can see, we walked through the f one of the, f the straw bunk area. Over here is the loading chute area. Let's see, where's the milk bank? The milk tank. I forget. I don't remember where everything's at. It's been a while since I've used this barn. Here's the main feed bunk. Water. You just fill up this little water tire here. And then here we have milk loading, milk trolling. So, well, uh, yes, everything in there is robotic. This is our dry manure pit, and this is our liquid manure pit. Up here we have the straw loft where the straw will be going right in here as you can see that's the bulk milk tank or the bulk for the milk oh that's a long jump down there why did I do that close that door Uh, 
like I said up here is the will be the straw bale storage for all the little bales at least maybe a small square bales of hay depending on how many I got And then we have our two hay barns. This will be for round bales, and this will be for round bales too. So maybe squares. Depends. It all depends again. Here, this might become. This might be mow. I might change this over to mowable grass, so I can get a hay field out of this. I can. Mow this, I believe. Yeah. Pretty sure I can mow this. Yeah, this is mobile here. I mow all this for hay. I might till up the. Let me go here, see what's mobile on this map. I'm not sure. There's an area, there's a field behind the house here. No, that's not mobile, but I can change that pretty quick. So, hmm, might buy 15. It's a long haul for hay, but it's, it's I do have a trailer and I got a wagon, so it's 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 doable. We can do it. So yeah, that that's about it there. You can see there's the barn. Barns here and here. And there's grass here, there's the driveway here. Buildings, gravel. And then we got field the rest of field eight. So there's a place I'll probably just raise them as cow calf and then sell sell them off. Not really looking into getting into dairy, but if it happens, it happens. It's no big deal. I, according to the game, according to the actual map, not this one, but the map when I downloaded it in the pictures, it said there's a milk cell point. So that will have to be discovered. We will have to find that out. But, save this just to be safe. That's it for tonight, folks. Might do some more leveling here so it's mobile and usable. We're gonna do a quick tab down, quick run down to the dealership here, get in the 2105. Run that over to the other dealership so we can get our tether picked up and everything off because it's two wheel drive we don't need this right now we're on the road so this is beer loader tractor guys 2105 white not a bad tractor we might purchase a bale spear for the skid steer probably what will happen just for putting bales in the building, as it as it's kind of a pain for the tractor to put bales in the building, so we use skid steer. This will be the square baling tractor, though, as we don't really need to throw the 1466 on the square baler. Although I will say overkill is underrated. Shoot, I'll throw the 4210 on the square baler. We'll square bale with that. But be well worth the views, I think. But that may not happen this season. I have a hay ground ready. So, that'll be the next season job. We'll buy our hay this year. That way, we might get one cutting of our own hay. And if we do, then when I do the video, then when I do square bale, I'll put the 4210 on the square baler. Shoot, I might go bigger just to say I did it. See what happens.
I'll figure something ridiculous out. <laughs> you guys saw that, right? Yeah, that that's pretty ridiculous. I thought I could I thought there was a collision there, but there's not. So a little tighter. And there's our hair rig. Tiny. God, that's tiny. Um Let's pull forward here just to see how she looks. Oh, that's really small. Um, I know I don't have access to this land. I just want to see what it looks like. That looks stupid. We will buy a smaller tractor yet for this tether. So that's do that right now actually just so we have what's the smallest tractor that I'll handle this I got a 255 Massey we'll see what that looks like on here or oh oh 35 Massey oh 35 horsepower tractor you know what This will be. We'll do a. Okay, that looks ridiculous. We'll just do the front grill. There we go. We are going to go broke with this now, ladies and gentlemen. You know that we're gonna go broke doing this. We'll use this to pull something bigger. Probably the hay mine. Yeah, that's kind of awkward to pull with a truck. As you can see, I got no steering rod, so you're probably wondering how are you steering? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's this magical. It's this thing called okay. not being done, but it's being done. So. What's wrong with it? So that's that. We're not gonna do any more tonight. I think we're gonna call it good. That'll look perfect on this little rig. So better here. It's on the right thing. Gosh, don't that look pretty? No, for a little tractor and for only doing 16 miles an hour, it's pretty quick. Actually, 14. Can I feel it even more? Still 14. A little loud, though. Well, folks, my grandpa had a tractor just like this when he bought our actual farm. He started out with an H and an F20, then went to the 300, then went to a 35 Massey Ferg, 35 Deluxe Massey Ferguson with a loader on it, which I believe is this a deluxe model? No, it is not a deluxe model. Okay, I wasn't sure. It, it so. He had a 35 Deluxe, which I don't remember the year, and he had a loader on it, and then he got the Farmall 300, that I wish he'd have kept one or the other, but he traded those in for, he sold those to get the 253 that we have now, so he did it out of necessity. It was a necess necessary thing, as it was just him, so he needed something that could handle the round baler. 
So, anyway, guys, that's all for tonight. So, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. Um, and leave a comment if you'd like. And I'll see y'all next time.